1015, and today I got an exclusive one, man. I call this the Crown Plaza Chronicles. We're going to touch on several people that, that you know, passed away at Crown Plazas. You know, we got Kanika Jenkins, we got Jordan Bilbo, and we got two anonymous women also. Their stories is kind of crazy, too. I got some footage on, on all of it. And we just going to touch down on this. So first we're going to talk about Kanika Jenkins, which, you know, everybody in America know about that situation. Found the freezer, went to a party with her friends. Her friends left her in the hallway to go get the keys and this and that, supposedly. She was drugged. She allegedly walked into the freezer, which we know that didn't, didn't happen. Then, then you had the, the, the people that was handling the body that's supposed to be coroners or whatever, which were organ donors, you know. And then, and then another thing I want to, uh, I want to say about Kanika Jenkins case, a lot of people didn't realize that, you know, her mom is suing for like a hundred million, right? And she has one of the best lawyers, and the lawyers, what they evidence, what they found, was that that door was locked. They found that out. So that's why they have a negligence case saying, like, why wasn't the door locked whenever, you know what I'm saying, whenever she was, you see what I'm saying, whenever she went in there. Why wasn't the door locked then? So she she was she was basically locked in there because when a dude went and found a body, he had keys. He unlocked it. But... It wasn't locked when she went in there, so that's what's helping the negligence case and whatever. Okay, we we can't find foul play, but we know that you locked the, the door after her body was in there because you knew the door was supposed to be locked in the first place. Which you know that's just, that's another you know another thing about the you know Kanika Jenkins case that a lot of people ain't realize that they did find proof that she was locked in there, but they're saying negligence. Like they forgot to, you know, they forgot to to lock it up and, and whatever, you know, which, you know, which is a, is, a, is, a, is a crazy situation, you know. Like I said, you can see the little blood uh, specks all around the little push button. To, so she was trying to get out. She was kicking it. You seen her foot messed up, you know. You seen that there was a, a room right when you passed the freezer. And you also seen where whenever the uh, the coroner or organ donor dude was, was showing the parents the body, every time they went back to the freezer, you could see their body. Even if you didn't see their body, you seen like their silhouette, their shadow opening up the door. So, you know, that case alone, you know, <clears throat> that reached a lot of people too. Now, next we finna get it in Jordan Bilbo. Just give me a second. Okay. So now here we have Jordan Bilbo. Just wanted to show you a picture of him. You know, he he, he passed at the Crown Plaza too, a different Crown Plaza. I'm going uh, to read the article about it, and then I'm going to come back and uh, give you some extra information about it that people don't know. And I got a video to show where his body was found and how they tried to cover it up by turning up by unscrewing the light bulb he was at the top staircase like the 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 elevators wasn't working but he was at the top staircase that leads to the roof and it was dark up there because somebody unscrewed the light bulb but let me get into this article okay now what happened to jordan bilbo was Jordan Bilbo murdered at the Crown Plaza Hotel? Yes, of course he was. In Houston, Texas, Jordan Bilbo, 25 years old, was missing for 32 hours inside the Crown Plaza Hotel and was found dead in a ninth floor stairwell with a gunshot wound. According to family, Jordan went missing the night of October 31st, 2017. Jordan's body wasn't found until November 1st, 2017. According to the hotel, the elevators had been down at the Crown Plaza since the hurricane and the stairs were what the guests used. The host hotel also said that there were only one camera working at the time, which was the first floor um, camera, which is crazy. 
which is pretty weird if you ask friends and family, especially with the hotel being a four-star hotel. What's also strange is that Jordan Bilbo had been missing for 32 hours and no one heard the gunshot or smelled him or even discovered his body for that matter, especially being the fact that the stairs were the moving around the hotel. What is also strange is that the hotel said that Jordan Bilbo's friends checked out of the room November 2nd, 2017, which wasn't true. Bilbo's friend stated that when she asked to go back to the room, she was told that she could not enter the room because it was being deep cleaned, which is very odd due to the fact that she did not ask for any room cleaning. Okay, now check this out. So, uh, his friend or whatever, the female, she supposedly talked to a detective or whatever, and they gave her a card and everything because she was, like, kind of raising hell and everything at the time. And she tried to follow up with the investigator. It was a fake number, and she couldn't even find the investigator's name nowhere listed. You can look that up. Now, I say, you have to ask yourself, why would the hotel need to clean the room if Jordan Bilbo was killed in the stairwell? Also, why did the hotel say that his friend checked out when she did not? Something just isn't right about the details of the case and what really happened that night. Also, why was Jordan Bilbo's mother not allowed to identify his body? Authorities told Jordan's mother that there was no need for her to do so because Jordan had his ID on him during the time of his death. The examiners at the morgue also told Bilbo's mother they didn't think it would be best for her to see her son in the state that he was in. So that was twice she had been denied access to her son, which is very strange if you ask me. The examiners, examiners also did not give Bilbo's mother any of his belongings he had on him. Instead, they shipped his belongings with his body to a funeral home in Louisiana where he was laid to rest at. Some just think isn't right with his case and Jordan Bilbo's case sounds similar in some aspects to Kanika Jenkins' case. Kanika Jenkins was 19 years old and she went missing in the Crown Plaza like we all know from the party and all that, you know. Again, ask yourself, even with the Kanika Jenkins case, why were no fingerprints taken at the scene? Why was her thymus missing? Hmm. Yeah, but a lot of people forgot about that, which they say normally once you get around 20-something, your thymus gets so small that's not noticeable. But the thymus, if you look it up, is very important uh, organ. And why were her pants partially down? Why did she have seizure medication found in her system? There's still loads of answers. Uh, in all these cases, you know, the family's wondering about. Now, what I'm going to do you next, I'm going to show you the stairwell that um, they found his body at. And because it's a, a activist, I'm, I'm trying to remember his name, Lamar something. He actually went up there to the Crown Plaza in Houston went where he found his body. And they found that the, that the light, because it was so dark up there, the light was unscrewed. Watch this. Okay, now this is the video of the stairwell where the activist Lamar, I can't remember his last name, uh, they, they went and did their own investigation. Check this out. Say some roof access. What's really going on? It's the most spooky. Another spooky case like Kaniva. Mystery. No answers. <laughs> we know there's some crowd plaza type stuff. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. See, this isn't making sense. Yeah, it don't make sense. Just like the Kanika didn't make sense. This is the... Okay. This is the... That might have solved. But the 
question is, is this light on for purpose? What you think? That's of course it's on. I watch this. Mm. Oh, of course it's off on purpose. We know it is. We know it is. We know it's a cover up. We ain't, we ain't gotta point that out. Mm. We own it. Oh my goodness. Yep. I got it. So somebody cut, you know, somebody unscrewed that light. That's where he was found there. You know, 32 hours, nobody smelled the body. The stairwell was the only way to get around the hotel because the elevators was so uh, messed up. And, uh, you know, that's that's a uh, Jordan Bilbo case. And if you want to look up more about it, you know, or if you got any questions, you can always ask in the comment. There's a lot more things I know about this case, but I don't want to make this video too long. Now, next I'm going to get into some anonymous woman. She, 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 she died at the Crown Plaza. They say she jumped from 11 story window and I didn't even know, like, I guess they do have some windows you can open, but I'm going to show you the, uh, you know, the, the article about that. They, they never identified her name or nothing. So that's weird. Give me one second. Okay. Now this is all they had to say about this woman too. Los Angeles times, you know, man critically injured after a woman jumping from a hotel lands on him this is a crown plaza a man was critically injured friday after he was struck by a woman who jumped from the 11th floor of a hotel in westchester and killed herself police say the man was walking outside the crown plaza los angeles international airport hotel in a, a 5900 block of west century boulevard about 8.20 a.m. when the woman landed on him, said Officer Liliana Preciado of the Los Angeles Police Department. Woman died upon impact. Police were monitoring the man's condition. This is the first time a bystander has been hurt by a person jumping, but they get into some other stuff that don't have nothing to do with Crown Plaza. You know, like, they, 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 they didn't never even identify this lady, which was terrible. And I'm gonna get to another anonymous lady that passed at Crown Plaza. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. A year old woman was found dead inside a Crown Plaza hotel room in Garden Grove near the Disney Resort on Friday morning. At about 9.51 in the morning, uh, Garden Grove police officers were dispatched to the Crown Plaza regarding a suspicious circumstances call. Uh, when officers arrived, they found from hotel staff a uh, deceased female. We uh, don't have her positively identified at this point. Garden Grove police would not release details of the investigation, but are calling it a homicide. It's still a very fresh scene. It's only a few hours old. Investigators are looking at surveillance video. Uh, the hotel does have surveillance video, and they're checking to see if we have any evidence. One hotel guest. That's why we didn't hear anything. Nobody before. ever heard that. Pretty, we got in about, what time did we get in? About 10, 11? Yeah. It was pretty dead. The cops were here all morning. There was a bunch of like probably eight squad cars. The bellhops and stuff wouldn't tell us anything, but we kind of we saw it on the news shortly after, and we figured that it was here because there was a lot of attention going around the, the hotel. It's Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com. Okay. Now you see what I'm saying. That's why. That's why I call this the Crown Plaza Chronicle. All these situations happening at the Crown Plaza. And then one thing you got to understand is, you know, they're not going to, okay, like, they make so much money, even if they did have footage of something happening at their hotel, you think they're not going to cover it up? What, because what, what, what's going to be in a commercial? Yeah, hey, come on down to Crown Plaza, anything can happen. But we got good rates. You know what I'm saying? They, of course, they're gonna anything that happened, they're gonna cover it up because that's gonna be bad for business, man. That's why it's so many, it's so many different things going on that I was researching that I just ain't put up because they're never gonna tell that, man. They gotta keep their business, you know, going. They're not gonna sit up and tell you and show no no murders or none of that on, on camera. They're gonna they're gonna cut that out. I mean, they gotta. They got to keep they, they stuff together. So why would they even give you footage and let you know all these things that, that we're looking for? You know what I'm saying? You just got to think about it like that. Like, 
you know, I mean, anybody, you don't even have to have a, a high school, you know, diploma to understand that. Like, I ain't finna show you uh, all these things happening in my establishment. They, I'm gonna cover it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cover it up. Stuff like this, crazy stuff happening, all kind of stuff, restaurants and all that. You ain't gonna never hear about it because they want you to keep coming to their restaurant. You know? But you know this this is man this is the uh, the real boss TV eight one five and like I say I I call this the Crown Plaza Chronicles. You know what I'm saying because to me it's just ridiculous man I wanna I wanna know what y'all think about it man y'all go ahead and uh, subscribe like share and and go ahead and get in that in them comments and if you have any questions about any of these cases that I didn't touch on because like I said I didn't want to make it too long no just feel free to ask. It's the real boss TVA one five out of here.